There seems to be a crook in your neck. Yeah, I think I slept funny. No, I'm just looking at a tree. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, looking at a tree, basically because um, we like our bats and we like our birds and we like our wildlife in general. So we went and bought some things to help them um, thrive. thrive and live here. There's three things to show you guys, but uh, we're only going to put up one today. So we will start with this one here. This is, as it says very nice and clearly on the actual item, a bee brick. You can't see it. You can't see it. There we go. Okay. Bee brick. Um, basically, it's a brick with some holes for solitary bees, which are your wild bees. Now, we don't know how good the bee brick is, but we're going to give it a go um, because we just got a planning permission for our plant room, which is going to be a cob um, hut, which is an earthen hut. Earth and and we're going to try and build three of these bricks into and the walls of the of the earth and hut and you already have a fly going in so that's grand it'll it'll feature later on the other thing we got was for the other renovations we're doing this is a bath tube it's basically a concrete block which is hollow so the bats can come in here go inside and make a little home and go yay <laughs> uh, and this just gets built directly into the building and then you can kind of render over it and stuff to hide so it. So you see the little hole, is it? Hole. It is exactly that. So that's that one, uh, again, for later on. We've got two of those. One's going to be for the mill and one for the cottage. Yeah. <laughs> and this is the other one we, we, we got, which is more of a tree type. Bat box. Um, With a nice Dracula tombstone y design. Very nice. Very it's scary. All like, it's all black and kind of like, yeah, gothic. Um, but anyway, yeah, so it's, 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 it's a flat box essentially. But we chose this one uh, on good advice. That is a really good one. Um, and yeah, we're just going to try and put it up so that we can. Have some some bats living in our trees. How high do you need to put them up? Uh, so it needs to be as high as possible, really, um, but at least four meters. Who's going to do that? You're going to climb, aren't you? Aren't you a climber? God, if only we had someone that has recently done ladder training. <laughs> yeah, I'll climb up. I can't think of anyone. I'll climb up. I'll, uh, um, I'll do so it. we have a ladder as well, which helps. Oh yeah, ladder. Otherwise, you could just. You know, so why this tree? Or... Why this particular tree? You, when you when you're selecting a place to, to put it, like we were looking for somewhere which we know that the bats are are commuting, foraging, etc. Um, and after monitoring the site for over a year, I know that bats regularly use this drive um, and also go into the fields either side of us. So they're hanging around. They are foraging and spending time here. Um, and this so, just highlights the importance of hedgerows and um, the sort of commuting linear features on the landscape. It does. Well, look at you using technical language. Um, yeah, no, that's actually absolutely right. Um, so, yeah. And the other thing is um, when you're looking for a tree, we're looking for one that doesn't have too many branches that would be blocking the entrance. So this one's quite clear. Uh, it's also well sheltered from the wind and from the elements in general. Um, having said that, although it's a bit dark at the minute, it does also um, get a bit of a sun, which also helps because bats uh, would need a bit of warmth. So um, you generally need to find place place the uh, the box or somewhere that's going to be warm. So here it's sort of south, southwest, southeast. So yeah, we're we'll placing it out this way. Um, and, and what bats are we really. expecting to get in there? Uh, well, we get it. We recorded, I think, six species uh, here. Out of nine. Out of nine, and really, it's it's kind of hard to say. I know we we generally get a lot of pipistrels in this area. We also get brown long eards, um, both of which I know have been um, found. Sort of, well, I found them coming and roosting and spending time actually within the buildings in this area. So, 
um, there is that. We also get the Bentons, which are your waterways bats, because we have obviously the lovely race. Um, nice bit of water, nice and calm, so perfect environment for them to, to, to come and forage as well. So this bat box is made of woodcrete. Basically, it's a little more hard wearing. You can get, and um, generally speaking, you would go for uh, an untreated wood box, but with the um, Irish weather as it is, it can only last a few years really if it's untreated because it gets a bit wet and rotten. So wood creed is a really good solution for that. It's kind of wood, but a bit more long lived. Well, no, it's, it's, it's creed, yeah. <laughs> so it's uh, it's longer, uh, longer lived. I'm very good at these explanations. Um, anyway, a bit tired because we were out surveying last night again. But anyway, Let's we're going to go and climb some trees and ladders. stick it up on ladders. Well, whatever. Let's do it. All right. See ya. You look pleased with yourself. So our time lapse actually didn't capture the top, so we thought we'd show you the box in situ. Um, now, normally when you've got enough ground to stand on, you could actually go underneath and just kind of peek inside with a torch to see if, uh, if there's any bats roosting in it. So that's what we're going to be doing to monitor the, the box. Um, every so often. If we can make it. It's up! But uh, not in yet. Right. Toodaloo! Bye!